Okay, so I had a bit of a um a daydream that I want to share. Now stay with me for this because my imagination kind of went away. But at the end of Kawhi Leonard's postseason, at the eventual end of Toronto's playoff run, I saw Kawhi Leonard sitting at the edge of a cliff. Okay, pondering over leaving the Raptors. You know, you take one small step in a completely different direction, or you stay with what he knows. But then Kyle Lowry came over, and he pushed him off the cliff. Okay, so Kawhi Leonard played in the San Antonio Spurs system for seven seasons. We all get that. And I know it didn't end well. I, I understand. But I believe Kawhi Leonard is just now realizing that he took belonging to a winning culture for granted. Okay, Kawhi always had Tony Parker, Ginobili, Duncan. Okay, he was surrounded by players that, when it came to the playoffs, they didn't crawl in the shelves, they didn't hide, they rose to the challenge. He doesn't have that in Toronto. Now, Toronto have been an excellent regular season team for many years. But do you know what separates a 58-win team, Raptors team, from a 48-win Spurs team? Nick Nurse is not Greg Popovich. Pascal Siakam, he's young, he's good. He's not LaMarcus Aldridge. Fred Van Fleet, he's not Patty Mills. Okay, Spurs acquire players that have not only been there, but thrived deep in the playoffs. I mean, I, honestly, I don't know what Kawhi Leonard was thinking when he, kept, when, it, when he joined Toronto. That Toronto Raptor players, the most notorious choking team in the playoffs year by year, would just transform into a composed unit into a team prepared for the big stage no okay Toronto as a franchise are 2 and 14 in game 1 of all of their series this is a team that have, have, have had home court advantage more than not okay people don't respect them it doesn't help that people depend on Kyle Lowry so much and he constantly fails to show up year after year Kawhi Leonard is now just Officially play, Kawhi Leonard is officially playing with the highest paid play ever to go scoreless in the playoffs. I mean, that's unspeakable going scoring zero points. Carl Lowry will be turning 34. 34! Kawhi is only 27. <laughs> okay, people don't realize we haven't even seen Kawhi Leonard's prime yet. If the Raptors don't seriously pull together and make the NBA Finals this year, which I believe is entirely doable, okay, they don't have to beat the Celtics and the Bucks, okay, they have an, they have an easy first round matchup against the Magic. If they don't make the Finals, Kawhi is gone, and Toronto will need to rebuild from scratch. <laughs>